grab your blanket, get super cozy, and let's buckle up into a really crazy current household. So I did a poll this week and I always like to see what kind of feedback and what kind of things you guys like to see. So if you guys don't really comment, I know a lot of you guys love watching, but then if you guys don't comment, I don't always know what you guys like seeing. So if you like my content and you like the video that you just watched, feel free to comment because it really helps me know like what you guys like. Obviously views help, but sometimes some people really love a series um, that might get less views than more. I don't know, so it's really helpful if you guys let me know. Whoa, okay, well my current household was actually winning last night when I looked, but then save file CC and mod reviews one second. I'm gonna share with you guys my messy current household today, and it is hot, 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 spicy mess. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it, and then feel free to vote for your favorite stuff that you wanna see from me. I'm gonna preface this by saying I am a very wholesome simmer when it comes to my gameplay that I share on my social media and my YouTube channel, but in my own gameplay offline, um, off cam, which means like off camera when I'm not filming for you guys, I need it to be spicy drama. I need there to be a lot going on. Otherwise I get kind of bored sometimes and that's just natural, you know, when it comes with playing The Sims, it can get kind of mundane sometimes. It's nice to spice stuff up, you know? So there's kind of this thing that we like to do as simmers, especially YouTube simmers or Sims tubers. I don't know the term, <laughs> but we like to share something called our current household every now and again. So basically what that is, it's a update of our current household that we play offline. And a lot of people don't share their current household because it's personal to them and most of the time people have one of those a current save file for their current personal gameplay and if they share it too much on youtube then sometimes it's not as like personal and it, they, then it gets boring you know what i mean i think it's fun to like kind of share here and there that kind of thing so here's my personal gameplay and it is spicy hot okay let me tell you <laughs> it's a bit wild so don't judge me you guys okay don't judge me but it's a hot mess, okay? I, You guys are going to be like, what? This is your savvy? Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's bad. I started actually playing with this sim here. And her name is Marley. So I don't have the Z's mod that takes out the Z's when they're sleeping. You know, I'm not on the aesthetic trend with that. I need to get with it, <laughs> clearly. But anyways, this is Marley. I actually started playing her a couple of months ago all on my own. So this is supposed to be a gameplay series for myself that I played like in the meantime when I'm not like recording and stuff for you guys for YouTube and Marley actually comes from a aspiration challenge that I was doing it's and so what I was doing is I was basically going through each aspiration and trying to complete the aspiration and then I would do a job pick a job that is related to the aspiration which is the obviously the bodybuilder one and then I would try to complete her fitness aspiration which is actually done basically with that challenge what you would do is you would just pick any aspiration pick a job that correlates with it and then obviously complete the highest max skill and then after that you would just move on to the next generation so she ended up having a lot of kids her story really progressed so i'm gonna have to pick an heir for her to move on to the next this was my personal gameplay but it kind of became more of just that challenge that i was doing i really went in with her story and it just got really nuts <laughs> so um, let's just say that Marley has kind of a high woohoo drive and so she was dating a lot of different people at the time and so I obviously wanted to make her storyline fun and interesting so I had her just like date a bunch of people and let's just say as you guys can see from this panel she knows quite a lot of people and she's got you know some drama going on here. So this is Eleanor here. This is her ex now current husband's ex-wife. It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. It's actually really fun. I love doing this update with you guys. Okay, I don't even know where to start. I'm so overwhelmed, but um, this is just going to be kind of like a chill video, and if you guys ever want to see a update, another update to this, like a, a, you know, update part two, just let me know, and I'm more than happy to do it, but only if you guys like this video, I will do an update. This is her current husband, Houston. Marley was actually living in San Sequoia when I first started this, playing on my own, and then it just kind of stemmed from there. Her life got like really, really wild, and it just became pretty, um, pretty interesting. And I just felt like I was in love with this sim, and I, I just still adore her to this day. She started off, like I said, in San Sequoia, and I wanted her to just date whoever she wanted to. I didn't know what her sexuality was either. I, didn't, I had her like woohooing with anyone she wanted to. You know, I'm like, I'm gonna let my girl live. You know. 
like let her do her thing like let this girl live her life live her sim life she ended up dating quite a lot of people in the city while she was there she wasn't there for very long she did date this person named zoe for a little while that was actually her neighbor and then let's see here this guy too edison she also dated him as well like most of these people are flings anyway so not even like true dating i'm pretty sure she hooked up with megan too i know she definitely hooked up with edison like he still kept calling her even after she was married he was like yo girl hit me up <laughs> and um who else did she woohoo with i can't even remember at this point but i mean it's been pretty much probably all these people that you're seeing here she's woohooed with it was a lot you know what i mean so she was just you know hitting a town doing whatever like you know i wanted her to live her best life and figure herself out in her life so this is donnie donnie novaks is her ex-husband this is her current husband houston okay so around the same time that she she first met houston first okay so she met him and she was hooking up with him that was like her booty call but she really fell fast for him like their chemistry was like off the charts like they were whew, hot and heavy but then she met donnie and she really really liked donnie a lot and same thing she was hooking up with him having a good time with donnie but she liked them both and then eventually like donnie i started playing with donnie as well and he wanted to move in with her like he got the pop-up or she got the pop-up to um have him move in with her like he was like hey you know marley i want to move in with you blah 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 so i was like hey yo i'm playing this on my own <laughs> like sure let's just see how this goes so Donnie ended up moving in with Marley and then he actually had like a bunch of wants to like progress with their relationship to um you know basically become boyfriend and girlfriend so he actually got the want to become engaged to her so at this point um they're divorced and Marley did end up cheating on Donnie with Houston and Marley does have custody of their children for the summer, but they should be coming back soon since it is fall. But they have a really big blended family at this point, like it's huge. Let me go ahead and show you like the whole shebang. So at this point we have Riley and we have Luna. So Luna, hopefully you guys can see that through my shader. I'm just gonna take it off so you guys can see it. So I'm sorry if this is a lot, it makes sense to me because I'm the player I've been playing for a long time, but this is Donnie, he is the father. He's also a plant dealer, if you guys can kind of like read in between the lines there he is a plant dealer on the side marley didn't really know about that much marley and donnie ended up having luna and also riley so these two children are the daughters of these two after marley was married with donnie and then they ended up moving to um newcrest for just a little while just a little while because they want to go check out the suburbs and see how that was but they were also living in two apartments together but it was just too cramped and too small for them so they ended up moving to a new cross and it just like she didn't really like it. it wasn't really for her then houston kept calling her okay he kept calling her and he was like yo marley you know he really wanted to be with her and he just kept calling and calling and like booty calling as well too it was just really really messy i still think that marley was in love with houston and still had strong feelings for him because Donnie and he, and Marley had like rushed so much. They have a lot of kids. Okay, so all together, these are their children with Marley. Marley has one, two, three, four, five, six. She has six children, you guys. And then Donnie also has two children as well. So it's crazy. We're going to get to him in a little while. It's just nuts. We're not even like through all of it yet. So while, um, yeah, Donnie and Marley, so many names, you guys. Hopefully you guys can keep up. Okay, hopefully I'm not confusing anybody. But while Donnie and Marley were married, she ended up having an affair with um, Houston. And at that time, I think she was just going through like, you know, postpartum and she was trying to raise these infants and she was just not really happy at the time and she wanted to feel good about herself and just, you know, the temptations got to her. And sometimes that happens, you know, we're human. We're human. It's, you know, I wouldn't recommend that for anyone in their personal life, but <laughs> shit happens basically. So she ended up divorcing Donnie. So Houston actually cheated on Marley recently with his ex-wife, which is Eleanor. This is Eleanor here. He had a family with Eleanor. He has two kids. He has Hudson and he also has, okay, with Nora. So Nora is his daughter. Houston, okay, is Marley's now husband. We got that. Okay, cool. Moving on. This is his ex-wife, Eleanor. Eleanor and Houston have Hudson and they have Nora. Also, they have Nylee. I didn't name her. Nylee. Eleanor started brewing up some drama 
and she actually had an affair with Houston. So they have like these current children now and this was around the time. So this is probably not that far back into the past. They ended up hooking up because Houston was just feeling really um, unappreciated. He was doing a lot around the house and that kind of thing. Like, you know how life kind of like slips away when you're doing a lot and you know, they're having that like seven year itch kind of thing. And um, yeah, so she ended up like seducing him and he let in as well to the temptation. But the thing is, Marley and Houston, they still love each other. And I think they are going to have to see how this goes. I think she still has, um, yeah, feeling insecure. If your significant other is around, how do you know they're what they're doing and who they're doing it with? She is still feeling really upset with him, as you guys can see. This happened really recently and they were separated. As you can see, the relationship is still separated and she's hurt. It's very awkward right now. They're still living in the same house. He actually went away for a little while. Why me? Contemplating life. Why is this midlife crisis happening to Hudson? Houston. I can't get his name right because his son is name is Hudson and then he's Houston. Who decided to do this? <laughs> this is a random save file that I picked to play in. But life just isn't going well for him right now. So yeah, it's really not. Houston has an intense desire for more adventure in life. So I'm pretty sure that was what was going on as well when he did decide to cheat on his current wife with his ex-wife. <laughs> and she ended up getting pregnant okay and then they had a baby which is literally wild so this is their new baby oh you know what she's not even in the panel because they've never actually met which is really crazy but he was actually going through a midlife crisis so again this is his baby with his ex-wife um here and it's just crazy it's so crazy so they ended up separating for a little while and when they did um they he moved out of the house for a bit i think he was gone for like a week or two so it was quite a while and he's a chef by the way he has a really high chef skill as well as um a really high skill i'm pretty sure he has the highest skill when it comes to cooking yeah so he's cooking 10 his gourmet cooking is four too and his parenting is 10 so he's a really good parent he hasn't really been a good husband lately but he is a really good parent when it comes to his children he's really really nurturing as well it's pretty sad that he uh you know had an infidelity i guess if you think about it um he did cheat on his his ex-wife with his current wife and now so i guess he kind of is a cheater isn't he we might need to have him go to some counseling for that because you know marley was married and um i didn't even think about that i don't know why that didn't like ring a bell but yeah he cheated on his ex-wife with his current wife got um that relationship all messy and then now he's you know doing all over again so we need to we need to get him some counseling probably let me know if you know a good mod for counseling because i probably need to get that i have um the lupin on mod for all of the like family mods for her i'm pretty sure so let me just like focus for a second sometimes i get distracted i have add um if you guys don't know that most, a lot of people do but but this is their house too i can give you guys a house tour whenever i get done with all the lore and everything the lore is hot okay steaming 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 hot i think we're gonna probably gonna have to head over to um, Marley's ex-husband so I can show you a little bit of his life too. They actually have bad compatibility you guys I don't think I've ever noticed that before but they have oh wait. I'm sorry. This is her. This is her husband They have bad compatibility, but what is Marley's compatibility with her ex-husband? Amazing compatibility and she has amazing compatibility with her current husband It's one of those situations where she's like in love with two people You know what I mean? You hear that a lot of people that end up falling in love and they rush their life, but they kind of have like two people that they're in love with, you know, it's one of those situations, but they're in Copperdale. They live here in Copperdale and it's just like the peaceful life, you know, I think it might be a little too peaceful for Marley and she feels kind of restless sometimes, but you know, it's life. And I think she prefers maybe a like more of like a hybrid of like a city and a, if we could have like a city and with apartments and stuff, maybe like Evergreen Harbor, but I still feel like that's not a big enough city vibes for, for Marley. Cause she's like a city girl um in the suburb life i don't know if it's really for her all right let's head over to her ex-husband's house so here is donnie novak's and as you can see he's a he's a big dude like he's a big boy and i always love that song um you know i want a big boy i want a big boy <laughs> he's a big boy um i i do like me some big boys you know like he's my friend antoinette also check out her channel if you want to but this is definitely more of a chatty chill video if you haven't noticed but anyway she just did a kaz makeover recently and um she she did like a male sim and yeah anyways it maybe remind me of that but yeah he's kind of like his posture is kind of weird right now because of this mod i have it like has him just kind of stand straight but 
yeah, this is Johnny Novax. He is a geek, he is adventurous, and he's also jealous. I think that jealous was updated um, from his um, issues with infidelity and all that jazz. But he has a lot of likes and he has quite a bit of um, dislikes, not as many as his likes. And these are his two daughters with Marley, his ex-wife. And this is Luna. Luna was their first child, their firstborn. She's so cute. And what I like to do is I like to color code my children. I know that's weird, but <laughs> I like to color code them because so I can keep up with them, especially if there's like multiple genders of the same child. It helps me kind of get an idea of like who is who, especially when you're like going down the line, it gets kind of kind of nuts, especially when there's a lot of children in the house, you know what I mean? It gets to become a lot, especially if you're doing the 100 baby challenge. I'm telling you, color code your children. It's helpful. So she, so Riley wears a lot of yellows and then Luna wears a lot of pinks, I believe it was. Um, so these two, I don't think they have good traits when it comes to their infant life because they went through divorce and they went through a lot of like family drama. So they don't have like a lot of good milestones or like sentiments quite yet. But they are living with their dad right now um, for the summer and they should be going back to their house with their mom soon and going back to school. So this white picket fence, big traditional home is where Donnie resides. Again, remember he is a plant dealer. So I think he has a really good front going on because you would never know that that's what goes on in his house. So this is the room where he does all of his plant operations. We are living in Newcrest, so clearly it's not legal there. Um, it's only legal in, I think, um, Evergreen Harbor and maybe one other place in my save file. But yeah, so this is his room here. He has like one of those like cool doors that look like a bookcase. So you have no idea. <laughs> so, and like right beside is a little couch for reading. So you would never even know. So he has to put like a little code in with like one of the books and it's a whole thing. He's like super smooth. These are the plants here. Um, we're going to go ahead and water them. Um, we do need to add in some more plants. He just made an order in. Also, we can see that um, he's packing with the money. Um, he's got a lot of money. He does a lot of orders for his plant business. Um, it's pretty cool if you ask me. But this is his, you know, little rundown room. And his girls, his ex-wife, doesn't know anything about it, which I think is really cool. So he's he's got that little secret going, um, which, you know, it isn't really taboo anymore. You know, it's pretty common, especially where I live. I live in the West Coast. This house is ginormous, as you guys can see. It is like the perfect new crest home for a big family it's absolutely it's absolutely gorgeous in there oh we need to do a little bit of cleaning there we got a diaper <laughs> a very beautiful dreamy house this is our kitchen in here i think it's so pretty and then this is a nursery where his ch other children yes i said that right his other children um actually were staying but they um are now in custody of their um of his ex partners i guess we could call them but neil is marcy davis is son so he was engaged to marcy donnie donnie is like a don lothario in a way i no pun intended with the names but he's a big player he loved marley though he didn't cheat on her he was in love with marley like he thought that marley was going to be the woman that he was going to settle down with and then she ended up cheating on him with her like big fling you know so he actually ended up getting engaged with marcy and she um they got pregnant first with Neil and he decided to pop the question to her and was like hey you want to make this right that kind of thing the whole like traditional thing you know whatever and so they got engaged first and then she he just ended up cheating on her actually I'm sorry you guys I know most of y'all are like oh my god there's so much cheating in here but hey you got to keep it interesting those of you that enjoy this kind of stuff I hope this video is for you those of you that don't you know just just move on and go to like some wholesome stuff even though I am a wholesome summer watch my other series but this again is my own personal gameplay so I like to have a lot of fun and make things interesting I got to or it just gets boring you know so it's different when I'm like storytelling my own series of like something wholesome like I love that kind of thing but when I need some juicy gameplay this is what I live for all the drama so anyways he started like um, I think part of his like breakup, his divorce with um, Marley, he was just really depressed, really sad, really down and out. And so he started, um, you know, just playing the field, that kind of thing. He met Marcy, like I said, got pregnant with her and proposing, but he still had other flings on the side. It, you know, he was not being right by her, unfortunately. It, was, it sucked. He ended up cheating on her, like I said. She broke up with him because she caught him cheating. So she ended up moving out of the house and everything. They actually were going to get married really, really, really soon. Um, so that was really, really crappy. And then he also has another child with another person. He has a lot of baby mamas, you guys. A lot. Let me tell you. This is Penelope. 
Penelope and him, they were just a one night stand kind of fling, messing around, that kind of thing. They got pregnant with Kale. Um, yeah, I don't even remember if I named him that or if that was part of the game suggestion. It's a weird name, I know. <laughs> um, it reminds me of like the food Kale. But anyways, um, this is their baby. Um, they don't live together. He just like takes care of her and sends child support, that kind of thing. And of course, he's a part of uh, his children's life. So he has four children. He has two with an ex-wife and then two from two separate relationships. He, you know, his child support payments are going to be um, pretty, pretty flooded, pretty deep for a long time until they're 18. Yeah, he's got, a, he's got a lot of finances, um, but you know, he, he does pretty well with his plant business, so it's doing pretty well. Penelope is his ex, fling, his true baby mama. And then we have Lola and we have Judy here. These are his other flings. These are the women that, um, Marcy, his there's a lot okay i can't even keep track <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh here's lola his booty call is calling remember that job we talked about i got it okay well good for you his relationships i want to go through all of these with you guys just to see how freaking messy this is so here's marcy marcy is hot you guys marcy is smoking hot she is gorgeous look how pretty she is let me turn off my shader so you can see her so she's got all these like pretty tattoos really beautiful red long hair i don't really play with redhead sims so it was really fun when i got to like make her over i wish i would have gotten a before and after of her because she was like super like you know basic um but she's furious about cheating and she's bitter about the breakup and also they're total opposites so yeah that's um a really cool fun fact for you guys donnie also loves basketball he likes to chill and play it's kind of how he winds down after a long day of um working in his plant business <laughs> and dealing with uh, his customers so here is marley marley and him have a pretty hard relationship i feel like he still loves her to be honest with you guys and they have they're a bad match sometimes there's just no chemistry which is true i feel like she was more bored with him to be honest with you um but i don't want to put that cliche out there i just think they move too fast you know without really getting to know each other but Donnie did, did end up cheating on Marley as well after she cheated on him first with Houston um, because he was really upset. And yeah, it was just tough. They're close. They still have a close intimate, which is really interesting. And um, like I said, he, you know, they have custody of that and they still have amazing availability that hasn't changed. So Zoe is his current like booty call. And then we also have Emma is just a friend. So he has quite a lot of people that he does know. Um, I mean, it's not that many looking at it. It's actually, it's not, don't listen to me. <laughs> so Lola and Jody are the people, the two women that Marcy caught him cheating with. So he was having an affair with these two ladies at the same time and Marcy walked in. So it was crazy. And then I think this is a nanny here. And then this is his, one of his best friends, Alejandro. And then um, Edison is another person that he does not like. He was a neighbor and it was someone that Marley was actually having, like I said, a relationship with earlier in, in the episode. She was having a relationship with him before they met and he just was like super jealous. I mean, look at this. Like he's got three girls at one time right now. He is a player. He's such a big player, which I think it's fun. I don't normally play my Sims like that. I don't normally have like player Sims. I normally have like super wholesome sims that i play with you know it's kind of nice to spice it up and have a sim that's you know dastardly and like is not the best sim in, in the world like he's a good guy but he just his morals aren't the best you know like he needs to get some counseling for his his morals because they are just uh they're not the best guys they're not the best so anyways penelope here he ended up breaking up with her um they were a fling right but she constantly like wanted to like be with him like kind of thing they were girlfriend and boyfriend because i think he wanted to become an actual like relationship but they're woohoo partners at this point so they still have that going on and everything and she's bitter about the breakup so they were honestly just woohoo partners but she's still in their in her mind they were together but he ended up breaking up with her just because i didn't want them to have that relationship especially when he was engaged at the time with marcy i just wasn't feeling it for him you know what i mean just kind of like let's not let that continue to go on because they weren't actually together i probably should get him a more <laughs> non like wife beater ish top for living here come on girlies it's time for dinner let's have some um cereal i'm sorry i didn't end up cooking for you but um the simmer that's playing me um hit the wrong button <laughs> 
they're really close with their dads but i did want to show you guys their their things going on in their life i got really attached to these two because i obviously like i said i started playing this with the intent of using this as an aspiration legacy challenge probably will end up doing that i don't know who i'm gonna go with yet but i think whoever like i resonate with the most so luna here and then we ha obviously have riley i don't even know if i went through all the names we're both unhappy infants and i think a part of that has something to do with how they were raised and like going through and being children of divorces um or i guess divorce i should say but i guess divorces because now that their their stepdad and their mom are now separated so it's kind of you know it's really tough for the girl why are you in the bathroom with your dishes girl clean this up too clean up this dirty diaper no, might as well do that while you're thinking about it but they're very spoiled they're very well taken care of by their dad they also have neutral confidence i'm pretty sure both of them have it oh she has low oh my gosh you gotta work on that really has low confidence that makes me so sad that these children have gone through so much in their life that they have low confidence and they're unhappy as infants it's kind of sad you know but you know donnie's trying to do his best and take good care of his you know his girls and as much as he can while he has them which i really do enjoy oh look <laughs> donnie um okay <laughs> oh my god their lives are crazy they're so crazy to me like they're so intertwined and they're just they're all over the place yeah. i do want to show you guys houston's ex-wife so his ex-wife was actually living here in windenburg with his children and his now child that he had outside of his current relationship but it looks like they moved so i need to figure out where they are oh wow they moved to oasis springs but the thing that drives me nuts is that with the sims and when they move around and stuff with the neighborhood stories is that they don't always move into a home that like fits them you know what i mean like sometimes the homes are so small and you have like this big giant family living in this small house and it just doesn't make sense but anyways these are the hensleys mom eleanor owns the belt clinic in windenburg her husband houston ex-husband houston is a chef together they have two kids hudson who loves outdoors and wants to explore the jungle nora is a social butterfly and cat lover she loves working at the clinic with her mom even though she really doesn't do much but clean the litter bands and fill the food bowls she still gets to socialize with the pet owners and, and more importantly the pets so that is their little wholesome family they were you know previously wholesome but they're not really wholesome anymore so here is miss eleanor hensley and hensley is her ex-husband's last name she decided to keep her last name to keep up with her children's um names and everything like that eleanor she is so beautiful she's a vet she's very modest as well excuse you this is a lady yelling at her dogs just go away get the hell out of here you're so rude getting back to miss eleanor so she is very prim and proper um she is very modest she's why do they keep yelling at my dogs what in the heck is going on get the hell out of here you're so freaking rude this is their house that they're living at now apparently um like i said she's a vet she can afford a ginormous home like this and her her baby daddy's um oh my god is the dog in there is the dog in the pool i have never seen a dog get in the pool don't mind me this is so cool um hello little cutie oh my god this just goes to show how much i never really played with um cats and dogs so anywho i keep getting distracted but um miss eleanor here she um what in the, what okay all these glitches are cracking me up and killing me at the same time can you guys go inside your house and stop standing outside i turn your autonomy off okay there we go go inside please all these townies i need to do a townie refresh too i wish these people would stop yelling at my dogs who is this trick-or-treater oh it's halloween today that's why everybody is out and about but let's see if this house actually fits these people um because i can't really tell so she has two children and okay yeah it actually might fit them thank you god thank you okay so looks like this could be her bedroom here oh i am actually really happy with how this turned out but i don't like that she has the same comforter as her um as donnie that's kind of weird to me we might have to fix that but um this could be her teen um her teen son which is hudson actually he's a young adult now he's about to go to college soon but i think he's gonna live with her while he goes to college i kind of like that idea we probably need to rearrange this a little bit but here is our cute little scout her name is nora this is her room here and then i guess this could be the baby's room this actually works out perfectly and i didn't even put them in here intentionally like they just did this all on their own but yeah this is uh naila naila wait what vivian who is vivian vivian hensley 
Who was this then? Wait, what? I'm so lost. Where is their baby at? Did she put it up for adoption or something? Now Leah, I wonder if she put her up for adoption because it shows that the baby that they got pregnant with when they had an affair, it shows that they had the baby together and she got pregnant and had it. So she must have put the baby up for adoption or it's just, I don't know where it is. We're gonna have to figure that out some other time. She has another baby. <laughs> Oh my god, this they can't stop populating. That's their issue. The safe file is like so woohoo-ish. Patrick, oh yeah, so <laughs> I remember this now. Okay, Vivian is her infant, so we're gonna have to put a little infant bed in there eventually. Here is Eleanor. Eleanor, I got a little taste for um being let's just say being a little having a high woohoo drive and being upset about infidelity. So when her husband cheated on her she ended up going a little crazy as well and had a little fun because she's never really had fun like that in her life so she ended up having an um technically not really an affair like she just like had a fling with this guy named patrick but the thing is he is married she met him on a dating app and she didn't know that he was married so that's on patrick that's totally on him she um she wanted to get on the dating app she was like i just want to get out there i've only been with one man my whole life I've only been with, you know, my husband, then husband. Yeah, she wanted to get on the day dating app because she's never dated anyone besides her husband, her ex-husband, and she, yeah, Patrick was on there. She ended up getting pregnant as well. They don't know how to use protection in my safe file. They just don't. Yeah, as you guys can see, it is super freaking messy, and that's what, the way I like it. You know, I like a messy house hold and i think it's more fun that way i think she just needed a fresh start and she needed to get out of windenburg she needed to get away from all those like memories that she had with her ex-husband and she needed to start anew basically so that's why they're here in oasis springs and it's a pretty good place to start if you'd ask me because oasis springs is actually really pretty okay so here is marcy's house i do wish that it was daytime so you can kind of see this house a little bit better but it is what it is. I mean, it's really, really beautiful. So this is where she's living. Again, this is Donnie's ex-fiance that he was about to marry. And she found out that he was having an affair and she caught him red-handed. So, um, yeah. So this is her house. It is gorgeous. She just moved here recently. And she has a lot of money, as you can see as well. She gets child support, which is really, really nice for her. Why does she have two children? I'm really confused by that. Neil, do they end up having twins or something? Okay, so we have Neil as her son. Kale. Wait, oh, yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm having like a moment here. Also, the lady that's living with her is her mother. So this is Estelle. <gasps> this is Marcy's mother. Um, I wish we could get that baby off the ground because that's really bothering me. And this is so awkward that she's literally outside of her house feeding her child. It's so awkward. I hate it. Um, I feel like this is definitely more Macy style. Definitely not her mother style like whatsoever. So I also love her face. I did a makeover on her like I said. And I added some new skin details I've never used before like moles and freckles. And it was really fun. I enjoyed making her over and having fun with that. Penelope um, and... Donnie had a baby, like I was saying, his his fling, his baby mama, and he was actually raising Kale on his own because Penelope didn't want a baby. She didn't want to be a part of Kale's life, unfortunately, and instead of putting the baby up for adoption, Donnie was like, yo, I'll take care of the baby. It's my child, whatever. Like, he's a family man, but he's also a, like, locorio. Like, he's a he's a ladies man you know what i mean marcy um i think she's gonna probably date around i think she's probably gonna go on some different dates date men and women just kind of take get a feel for it of like who she's feeling out but man this house is really nice she is racking up the child support payments but i think she needs to take kale back to his house <laughs> i think that was an oversight that was an accident she even has a tub in the bedroom that is so nice. Okay, yeah, this will be Marcy's room. And then her mother, Estelle, the grandma, will live over here in this bedroom. We can maybe take the music stuff out. Maybe she does music as a side hustle, you know? Maybe she's very musically inclined and she maybe she can start a YouTube channel or something. Like, elder YouTubers, you know? <laughs> Oh no, she has the fear of death. I hate that. I also have them on long. I'm playing the safe on long because it just, I feel that more. But here is Neil. Neil is out here stinky as heck, but that is Marcy and Donnie's baby together. See. These are honestly probably the most complex Sims I think I've had in a while with like really big backstories, which I really enjoy. They all have like their own personalities, their own skills and traits and everything like that. So I'm really enjoying it. Now that we are back at Marley's home, the lady that started everything for this save file, 
for my gameplay. I wanted to show you all of her children um, and just give you like the rundown for that. Oh no, she slipped. I don't think I've ever seen my children slip before. Marley is at number seven. She's at the bodybuilder level. So all together with her blended family, they have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then he has two children. So technically it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, they have a lot, but they have had four children together. So they have Jameson, they have Declan, they have Mark, and they have Naya. So she is on birth control now, thank God, because I don't know if I can deal with any more children. So that is also why I decided to have Luna and Riley live their dad while um, it's summertime because I just having all these children in this household was like driving me literally insane like it was just way too much so this is naya here she loves her siblings so much but she is the first child that houston yeah we definitely want to have them as a jokester little family but they're so cute i really adore this dynamic she's a really good big sister we do have another toddler over here which his outfit is horrendous i don't know what the hell happened there but his outfit's real bad most of the time i don't really take a lot of time with my infants because they're just so irritating to me <laughs> the toddlers i should say but this cute little chunky monkey is her other son she has quite a few sons she actually has three sons now which is wild i thought she's only gonna have girls for a little while but this is um mark so this is her sweet little baby mark and he's so cute i love him and then we have declan declan is a toddler and they actually just aged up from infants i had them as infants for quite a long time i was trying to see how long i could have them as infants and take care of them and boy let me tell you that was so overwhelming <laughs> so i do need to update the room here and probably add like two toddler beds in here maybe have them sleep in the same room together those are her children and i'll give you a little tour and i think we'll probably end the episode here it's really pretty i had them living in a different house on this lot but it, they just outgrew it so freaking fast this was actually a garage over here, but I ended up renovating it for more kids that we have because it's just insane. But here are the two toddler beds here. We have one for Mark and for one of these children's name, Declan, and one for Jameson. I need to add another toddler bed probably in that infant room in here. She had, I think she had like two infants at one time and like two toddlers. Like she... She's like a baby machine, y'all. She loves having a big family. Like, she loves it. And I also try to keep a lot of her furniture um, that would stay within her inventory and, like, use as the homes that she moved throughout because I like to have her move quite often until I found a home that I really liked because I wanted her to, you know, feel like a real person and they were, like, moving around and stuff. And Marley did a lot of breastfeeding with her children, so she still has these, like, little things out. This is our granny's cookbook over here. And we have a lot of money um, that we spend in child support. So, and for some reason, it's been kind of off lately too. Like, she'll end up paying for child support for her two girls that aren't there, but technically, she has the custody. So, ultimately, Donnie should be sending her child support. I don't know. It's been a little weird. So, I've been having to like mess with funds and stuff and go back and forth. But, anyways. I also want to mention too that Marley and Houston will probably be working on their relationship together. They get along very, very well together and they, um, their chemistry is basically really, really intense. So I think they're probably going to go through some couples therapy. I would hate for them to have to completely separate, but I think it would be best for them. So even though Marley and her husband are currently separated, they are living in the same house. Like I mentioned earlier, he did live out of the house for a little while while they're first going through their breakup, their separation, I should say. They didn't break up, but just separated. He's living back at the house. Probably going to have them go through some therapy just so they can kind of work through things and see if they can repair their relationship. I'm really hoping that they can. I'm really rooting for it. I'm hoping they can put in the work to um, you know, get through that and just get through that infidelity. He's kind of the culprit. Like he needs to get, you know, some counseling and get his life together. And I will say that their bar has gotten better, which is nice because their relationship meter was like really, really bad, but it actually is getting better. Oh, he's getting flirty. Okay, so that's good. Maybe um, being around each other isn't so unbearable because before they couldn't even be around each other. They like hated, they hated being around each other. So I just want to give you guys a little update on that, but they're going to continue to be good parents and hopefully work on the relationship and I'm going to have the best for them, but we'll see. We'll see what they want to do. This is it for the episode and I really hope that you enjoyed 
my crazy messy family that now needs to pay their bills because now their lights are turned off. Also, if you enjoyed the episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel and it helps support me with the algorithm. Hope it made you feel a little bit cozier catching up with me and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys.